Hey, I've got an idea. Let's get out in the great outdoors. Hey friends, have you noticed that things are often different than how they appear? For instance, look at this golf ball compared to the tiny little ball behind it. Hmm, is it really a tiny little ball? Let's take a closer look. In actuality, this what appeared to be a tiny little ball is actually a softball and it's larger than the golf ball I was holding. Friends, things in the distance appear smaller. Things up front, closer to you, appear larger. I think you know that already. That's the way it is with our sun and the stars in the night sky. They seem tiny compared to our sun because they are so, so far away, like light years away. Let's explore stars and constellations. Let's look to the heavens and look for constellate. Oh, wait a minute. It's very cloudy tonight. But if it was clear tonight, perhaps we could see this part of a constellation called the Big Dipper. It's not actually a constellation in itself. It's an asterism, a part of a constellation. The full constellation is called Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Can you see the Big Dipper highlighted in it? If you line up the two end stars on the Big Dipper, it points almost exactly to Polaris, the North Star. These star patterns, like the Big Dipper, have been used for thousands of years for navigation so people could find their way at night. Birds use them when they migrate. Amazing! Another great star pattern in the north part of the sky is Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is supposed to look like a queen sitting on a throne. People used their imaginations when they came up with these images of star patterns. Now follow the link and watch the video that explains more about constellations and how you can remember them. Have fun, friends.